Hey guys, today I have the best video production products that I recommend for creators like you and me. This is a video I do about once a year, and this year I've decided to mix it up a little bit. Instead of me just making the picks, I'm going to ask the team members from my video production company what they recommend. Everything we pick is going to be linked down in the description box below if you wanna check it out. And let's just get started with our production manager, Francisco. Francisco, what do you got? Hey guys, my pick was the Apple Tour 300 lights. I love this light for how much output they have. If you wanted to have a light with so much output some years ago, you would need an electric plant to connect them to. These ones, you can just plug them into the wall and get as much output as you want for your indoor shoots. I also love how you can change the color or temperature on the lights, so you can get rid of those CTO or CTV gels. These aperture lights are a great pick. I have to admit that I was a little bit resistant to them because I felt like they came in so many different parts and pieces like this ballast and then here's the head of the light that I thought it might really kind of slow us down on set. But once we got used to them, they don't really take that long to set up and the effect of them is amazing. They have a huge bicolor range. They get cooler than daylight, warmer than tungsten. They're also super easy to control. They have this digital dial where you can up the brightness or change the color temperature and it even tells you the exact value of the brightness so if you're trying to match two lights you can set them to the exact same percentage which is amazing and then the coolest thing about these lights is that they have nine built-in custom effects so you can simulate different types of lighting scenarios when you're on set like lightning tv an explosion or fire or even more now unfortunately in the kind of work that that we do we don't get to really reach for those effects that often but if you are a narrative filmmaker you would love these lights they are a great pick all right let's head on over to katie katie's a producer and an editor here at plum productions she's been with us for the longest let's see what katie likes <laughs> My favorite tool is from Motion Array. It's called the Set Kit. It's a collection of effects of all kinds. My favorite are the camera moves that are in there. It's just a quick, super simple, easy way to add a slight move to a photo or zoom into somebody's face while they're talking. Like she said, Katie got that effect off of Motion Array. Motion Array is a monthly subscription service where you don't just get stock video and stock music, but you also get templates and effects for whatever editing system you're working on, whether that be Final Cut, Premiere or even DaVinci Resolve. Motion Array is so full of great text templates and other really neat effects. It's a great subscription service that I totally recommend. Before we get to the next product we recommend though, if you like this video, let me know, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a future upload. All right, next up, we're gonna head on over to Gary. Gary's our newest team member and he's the production coordinator. My pick is the Sackler tripod. The Sackler tripod is very lightweight and easy to transport, and it has a very smooth head on it that allows for smooth camera movements. Yeah, I totally agree with Gary about this Sackler tripod. This thing is amazing. It's so strong, but so lightweight. And when you're dragging around a lot of gear on a set, having a lightweight tripod is so, so crucial. We loved it so much, we actually bought two of them. This is such a great pick. I can totally see why Gary chose it. It's so sturdy. I don't even mind putting my biggest camera with my biggest lens on it, and I never worry about its stability. And it also goes really high. So when you're doing stand-up interviews, you can get right eye level with whoever you're talking to, almost no matter how tall they are. So again, I think this was a great pick, Gary. All right, let's move on over to Connor. Connor's an editor at Plum Productions. Let's see what Connor likes. Hey guys, my pick is Storyblocks. It is very convenient for editing because you're able to download footage very fast, very efficiently, be able to get very detailed results. And also they have a very good selection of audio for songs or even sound effects. Yeah, Storyblox is an oldie, but a goodie. It is a huge, huge library of both stock video and stock music. They also have a library of stock images, but I'll be honest, I don't really think the size of that library for images is that great on Storyblox. I would definitely reach for it for the stock video or the music. What I love about Storyblox is it's a subscription service. So when I have a client who's a little bit more on a budget and they don't wanna buy stock video, 
clips a la carte, let's say like you might with Shutterstock, Storyblocks comes in and saves the day time and again. There is so much stock B-roll in this library. It is a great pick. And our last pick is from my business partner and husband, Rob. Rob is actually not technical at all. He manages our business, so I'm interested to see what he's gonna pick. I really like that lens you've been using, and I, I don't know what it's called, but it makes all of our video look really good. And it obviously makes it easy for me to sell our services because in the end, that's what the clients want. Really nice looking video. Yeah, this Sony lens is definitely a great choice. It's the kind of thing that someone like Rob, who is not super technical, would really appreciate because it significantly impacts our work product in the most obvious way. It makes our videos look beautiful. This is the Sony FE 24 to 70 millimeter master full frame standard zoom lens. What I love about this lens is that it's an E-mount, which means that it fits all three of the Sony cameras we have here at the office. And like I said, it makes the picture look beautiful, especially in an interview. So Rob, I gotta tell you, this is a great pick. You guys, what are your picks? What gear do you think we all need to know about? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I will see you again.